Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing a little bit about Ubik and Sidecoin, and I'm gonna show you more about, uh, uh, this is more of a update version to the to my uh, X, FXRX uh, 580 hash rate and setup, and it will showcase the 8 gig, the 4 gig, and my Sapphire Plus, including my GTX 10, 1070, so I have, Seven GPUs mining Ubik at the moment. Uh, currently, this is the hash rate I'm getting out of it. Uh, let's see it, where the uh, difficulty is at the moment. So the difficulty dropped down to 16, which should, I should be hashing at a higher rate, but it's kind of weird. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if they are uh, taking some hash rate from me or not, or maybe they're just miscalculating. But so far, I've uh, accumulated and found 21 blocks in in this uh, Ubik pool. I have a 1.277 pinning for payout, and they told they in this pool itself has paid me 100 Ubik. And let's go to my wallet over here. I have mine 104. And if you watch my other videos too, I was also mining at a different pool, and I mined there for a bit before I switched back to this pool. Uh, for some reason, this pool I was able able to find more blocks, which gave me a high reward. Yes, uh, the pool fee was a little bit higher than the other one which this one was about uh, 0.6 so uh, but I kept at this pool because of the the uh, re return rate and I've been finding good blocks here so they've been giving me a good amount of, of re return so far on average um, I've added my, my seven G total 7 GPUs and I finally got to work uh, last yesterday so uh, for the total rate that it's been giving me, I've been getting about five, five and a half ubics, and I've been trying to figure out from there. But here, here's the side coin that I've been mining. So this is side coin. Um, they paid me out yesterday with a thousand side coins, and I'm this is my hash rate. So let's go down to my my uh, claimer miner right here. As you can see, there's a total of, of a total of four GPUs. The lower ones here and here are the X, X, XFX. These are the four gig versions of it. As you can see, it's, it's mining, it's dual mining, so you can see uh, Sidecoin and ETH. Where ETH right here is actually uh, Ubik, and this is the uh, Sapphire uh, Nitro Plus. This is the uh, the my ten, my 1080, no, sorry, my 1070 G, uh, GTX, the uh, Gigabyte version, the Windforce version actually, and these are the temperatures that it's at right now. Uh, let's go down here and I'll show you my clock settings right here. I'm actually using Wattman because I have different multiple GPUs and they require set at a, at a, at a different uh, different rate. The, the, the reason why I like uh, a Wattman because I could actually control the temperature and the the GPU stays at this temperature but with the increase of the fan speed which I'm I'm okay with. Uh, and But at least it's bringing it down to this, this part right here. So this is actually my, my overclocking version of it. So this is the 4 gig version and I will put it in the, the description below of my overclock setting to get uh, once it hits a good rate it's actually these are actually 28 let's give it another hash fragrance show and for some reason it's it's right here so it, it will give you a good 28 so these will give you 28 and the 8 gig versions will, with the Hynix memory will give you 29 and the Sapphire Nitro Plus gives you 30 and then on on a good amount, actually, if I overclock this a little bit more, it might it might give me 31. But 30 is good at around as you can see. As you can see here, it's 1031. Uh, let me bring that down. Bring to this woman here. These are my first two uh, the 4 gig versions. I set it at two uh, 2555. I've been playing with it for for a while, and uh, it's from here to uh, to 2100. I might set it back up to 280 because it was actually stable at 280. And I, I decreases by 50%. And so, the 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 what I'm trying to get here is that I'm trying to get here at to 11:20 or 11:30 around there to decrease the the watt reading. And it's actually very stable around there. And here you go, the power element is at negative 20. And over here, this the, the sapphire is actually is the one that's actually eating a lot. But I'm sitting at to 21. This this could be set to actually to um to 20, 21:50, but I found it to be 21 stable. And here, here's my clock frequency too, negative 20, so it's at 11.30, and negative minus 20% uh, power draw. So these are my clock settings. I'll leave you at the description below. 
and as you can see here so this is the graphics card this is my sapphire one right here as you can see here in GPU GPU uh, GPU Z it's the a gig version and uh, it's it's a Hynix memory it's drawing about it goes up and down it draws about a hundred and I think the max machine was at a hundred and and, and, um, and and twelve but it, it it varies it varies depending on what the hash rate is at and as you can see here my my RX 580 is the uh, 4 gig versions of it let's see if it loads right here real quick right there it goes up to the 102 and it drops down to the lowest I've seen is about 94 I've been trying to get it stabilized to below that but it's been uh, as you can see here's here's the clock speed here I'm gonna have to readjust it again uh, sometimes I'll, I'll hit this thing here it hits a 94 I'll jump, to, it'll jump up to 102 and it's it's around that's where the highest that would be 103 102 around there and we'll go back to the other one too and the other one seems to be a bit more stable for some reason this one seems to be a bit more stable I'm gonna have to figure out why this one's actually a little lower as you can see here it's 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 93 and below while the other one's a little higher so I gotta figure out what's what's going on when they're clocked about the same and as you can see this is the the uh, GTX 1070 I have four here and I actually have three more on um, other rig I'm actually using a, a ASRock uh, Z170 Extreme 6 edition that's able to do four cards at the moment uh, I've I'm trying to figure out and mix with mix with it a little bit more to see if I can do five or six on these. Uh, there, it has a total of seven PCI Express lanes, and I'm trying to tweak it. And hopefully, the mother the BIOS of the motherboard is, is able to de detect it. But so far as, as detecting four, just fine. I've been, I need to start playing with it a bit more to figure it out. Uh, when I add another GPU, it it, it just freezes on me. So I, I might be have to play with the uh, the BIOS and probably play with it a little bit more to try to get another one to read. When I was mining before, it was able to read five. Now it's only be able to read four. So I gotta figure out what's what's going on with that. And th this is where it's at with, with my uh, all my GPUs that I'm mining Ubik at the moment. And I, like I said, I, I mine 104. Um, I'll put my my I put an update video to this as well, which which is this is it and my adjustments in my uh, in into Claymore Miner. And uh, you, you guys could just watch this video and grab it in, in the description below and as you can see here I, Ubik right now let me refresh this real quick so right now Ubik the price for the past couple of days has been uh, been going down and down and up and down and if you pay attention to it you would a lot of people have been bought at a good time um, I just didn't have the, 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 the income at the moment to actually purchase this so right now it's at 32 it few days ago it, it was trying to reach up higher high so right now it's it's slowly going up it's, it's slowly creating a higher high and higher high and right now it's 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 going down hopefully tomorrow it'll go and create a higher high and um, we'll have to wait to see what happens there and hopefully it'll go back to up here it, it'll break the support resistance here and it'll shoot up to the next support resistance and hopefully it will climb back up in the next a few months or so and maybe it will reach up to five to maybe ten dollars but I'm just keep mining it and see how it goes a uh, Cycoin seems to be another interesting one too because uh, I was doing a bit more research about Cycoin and what it is and its foundation and uh, digital cloud storage uh, using Cycoins is actually pretty interesting so I'm going to do a video about it and the reason why you should mine and hold it I do see a bright future. Yes, it's competing with the the top dogs like Microsoft, uh, Google, and so forth for for their cloud uh, versions of the the uh, storage space. But the difference between them and and Cycoin is that uh, their your data is actually encrypted, and even Cy himself uh, won't be able to, to decipher or read into it because it's been chopped into many small pieces and diverged into all all these. Uh, the decentralized decentralized uh, storage places that uh, the average consumers can can do um, so I do a video about that and see why I'm, I'm this coin itself is, is could hit to the next level in a few years it's not gonna hit it now but in the next few years when cloud storage gets more popular and when people start realizing that Google and Microsoft are going through their information and 
it's not private anymore, then you, they'll find out the source of having their privacy. So again, guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. This is where I'm at with, with Ubik. I'll be mining it, and the the actually the highest hash rate, as you can see here, is slow going up again. It's the highest hash rate I have is about this hit about 225, which is really really for for a good three four hours, and my average has been going up and down. So, um, and if you go here to what to mine to as well, which is one of my favorite sites, what to mine. Will show you if you guys click on here and go on here and this is an example. So I put down six 580s and one 1070s and it shows me um, what's the most popular or what's the most profitable coin. In which case Ethereum right now is at the most profitable coin. Excuse me, been talking a little too long. And it drops down to Ethereum Classic. If you use nice hash, which which is a very easy program to use, I don't use nice hash because it converts into Bitcoin, and I would like to keep mines into the 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 regular state form. If I mine Ethereum, I want an Ethereum coin. If I mine Ubik, I want an Ubik coin, and so forth. So, and the music coins are actually another one too that I find it very interesting because uh, it's it pays the pair in and in, in, uh, music currency. And this is a, a music platform, uh, business platform, which is a, a enterprise version of it, which is which is interesting. So I've been doing a little bit more research about all these all these coins. I haven't touched the base on Expanse yet, but uh, I have faith in Ubik and where it's going. I, they create a very solid foundation for a enterprise edition or a enterprise version of Ethereum. And um, I did mine Zcash, but I will probably go and pick up some Nvidia cards to mine Zcash because Nvidia cards do very well. And Zcash, while uh, AMD cards do very well in Ethereum and Sidecoins. As you can see here, let's pop it up real quick. Um, when I do mine with the uh, the NVIDIA cards, uh, m the dual mining is horrible with Sidecoin, um, but it's very good with Ethereum. And this is where we're at. Uh, based on my calculation, I should be earning six Ubi coins. It's and the percentage of it, it's 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 giving me uh, seventy. To earn this much, it's saying that it's an 80% possibility that I may earn six coins. Past couple of days, I've been earning a little less than that. So I'm just letting you guys know this this site is not truly accurate, but it gives you a ballpark of it if you were to mine. I believe the most profit one 100% one will be Ethereum. They will give you at a 100% rate, and uh, it tells you here uh, what's what's the uh, profitability in the next two to seven days, and your that percentage. At the moment, so um, at the moment with, with this, I finally got it to hash at at, at 211 plus, and it's been doing very well. Uh, it took me some time to figure it out. I had to uh, pull my my mining rig apart and actually rebuild it again, and got it to mine a little bit more than I anticipated. To as, as you can see, it went back up again. So now I'm at 206, and I'm very happy with all these GPUs, and I will continue to slowly build more and um. My next one is going to be. I will show you guys what my, my my next build is. So that's pretty much what today's video is. It's an update of of all the GPUs I have and my and I'll leave the my settings below, so that way you guys can use it too. And I found I found a perfect perfect sweet spot for all these GPUs to to stay at to where um, they're running 24 hours stable, and actually these have been been running for about um, a, a week stable. So. Um, I'll leave it down and uh, like and subscribe guys and thank you for your guys time.